thing about it, me and Adidas, it's like, I could literally say anti-Semitic shit and they can't drop me. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Now. I definitely saw this coming. Adidas terminates partnership with Kanye West. The company is prepared to lose $246 million. Of course, it's over his anti-Semitic comments. Not the black comments, just the anti-Semitic ones. And I know yesterday, Sarah, who was the director of trade and marketing at Adidas, she called out the company silence for Kanye West comments. She said, it's been 14 days since Kanye West started spilling his anti-Semitic rhetoric and Adidas has remained quiet, both internally to our employees and as well externally to our customers. Yeah, because her and a lot of other people has been hitting Adidas up online or saying, how come all these other companies drop Kanye West? Why Adidas ain't make no move yet? And look, they finally made a move. They said they are willing to lose 200, almost $250 million by dropping Kanye West because we do not want him associated with our brand. He's speaking that bullshit. Just go ahead and do your own thing. And I know earlier this year, he was on Instagram ranting about them doing secret board meetings without him. Or I know one time he was saying that they were stealing his ideas and putting it on the market without him knowing. A whole bunch of shit he was ranting about. But now, you got some other shit to run about now because you ain't got nobody working with your ass. Not the music business, not your clothing partners, not Adidas, not Gap. Who do Kanye West still have distributing his music and his clothes? He don't got nobody holding his money. They are literally canceling him one step at a time. Now, I know it's not over for Kanye West yet because he could still sell the shit himself. Long as his fans and his followers ain't canceling him, he still got a chance to redeem himself. But if he keep on doubling down like he is in interviews and all this shit, who knows what they're going to do. But I know right now, they say you can't bank with us. You can't sell your clothing here. You can't come here. You can't come here. You can't sell your music on Def Jam. I'm pretty sure these streaming sites not going to, like if you drop a new album, it's not going to be on there. The Jews run the media. The Jews run the goddamn world. Never forget it. This is a lesson for anybody that want to go in Kanye West shoes and do this. Yeah, you free to do it. America is the land of the free. But all the money you made, all the companies you didn't put in business with, all the groundwork you didn't laid out, you got to be prepared to have that shit ripped right from underneath you if you want to speak about the Jewish or talk about the real shit. Can't talk about the real shit. And I don't get why Kanye West started this shit in the first place. He just started it for no fucking reason. It's crazy, man. What y'all think about this shit, boy? B? I'm on...